Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. I'm Jacob from Sustainably Yours, and today we are going to be unboxing the Solar IntelliShock 120 from Premier One. All right, let's open this thing up and see what's in the box. Okay, yep, top. For safety reasons, your energizer is shipped with the battery disconnected. That makes sense. It says stop, not top. Well, it came well cushioned. Okay, what's this? I bought the bat the kit, so it came with the charger and the digital tester. Cause I ain't be wanting to get shocked, so I'm not gonna be testing this thing out with my hands. Uh we got what up? Hey, Dale Bob. What up, Dale Bob? What up, Dale Bob? Yeah, this is going to be bad news for you. <laughs> All right, what we have here? What? I trust you, but not fully. Don't be coming over here trying to bully me. We've never had trouble out of him. He, he'll rear up every once in a while. But I think he's just playing for the most part. Uh, anyway, I have some operating instructions in here. Some clips. Clamps. And what up, Debbie Cake? There's nothing for you. There's nothing in there for you. Whoa, now... What y'all doing? <laughs> this looks to be a charger of some sort. I suppose maybe this would be a charger that you could use if you don't have good sun for a while. Go ahead and charge the thing up. Let's break out the instructions. Yes, that's what this is. This is a power supply to recharge the battery indoors and this is going to plug in right here so this is where you would plug in the adapter if you need to charge the thing grounding rod let's see there that goes oh there we go So here it is, the Solar IntelliShock 120. It can put out 1.2 joules of energy, which is enough to power anywhere from six to 10 of these uh, 164 foot sheep nets. The battery can store up to 1.5 joules. And ours came with a 10 watt solar panel. Uh, you can get a version that has a 20 watt solar panel, but I don't didn't think that we needed it. It is a little more expensive. Here we have our solar panel oh i noticed these little screw in pegs earlier i wasn't sure what they were going to be but these are going to be used to attach the solar panel to the assembly there's that one put this one here and then we can kind of adjust the angle that we would like. There are these little pegs here. So there's a, and it, ha, it has them labeled too. So there's a, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but here we have a 60 degree angle, 50 degrees. So you can put it at the angle you want it to be all the way. Here's a 90 degree. Okay, that is cool. We'll just leave it there for now. So it says, we want to open this thing up, attach the negative battery lead to the battery. Make sure all other connections are tight. Maybe we'll remove this for right now. Okay. We'll open. 
open this thing up. So there's a clamp here on the side. A squeezy clamp thing. Squeeze that thing down. And there it goes. Alright, so on the inside, we'll remove the cardboard. Remove this label, attach this wire to the negative terminal. Okay, let's just move these out now. Figured it would go that way. I guess it won't. Okay. Well. Remove this label and attach the wire to the negative. So we're going to remove this piece of plastic here. Hold on to it because I may want it later. Out. We'll replace this one. Ooh, that's sticky. And then here we got this one. Remove the little plastic cover. And Come on now. But out. Turn them so they're both facing the same direction. Okay. If you're following along in the instructions, we're going to skip down to here for the IntelliShock 12180. Insert the included ground rods into the ground. Position the energizer on the ground so the solar panel faces due south. Rotate panel as shown on page 7. Attach wiring harness to initial ground rod. Then connect subsequent rods as necessary. So I think that's pretty much it for getting the this thing set up. For now... We're going to put our solar panel back on. And I'm just going to let this sit out here. Um, it's about 6 o'clock in the evening right now. So I'm going to let it sit here until tomorrow about this time. And we will check and see what kind of juice we got south. It's going to be this direction-ish right here. All right, so that's it. That's what comes in the box. Tomorrow, I guess, we're gonna come out and we are going to hook this thing up to our fence. If you're interested in seeing how we hook it up and how well it works, if it's working out of the box and all of that, uh, then check out that video. It should be coming out within the next few days. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Leave us a thoughtful comment. And if you're interested in following along as we continue to try and make our home a homestead, then be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when to be back for more daily, sustainable living.